Aries. Aries, welcome into your spiritual nourishment. I am your shaman empress, aka the shaman humming bird. Welcome in, Aries. Okay, so we already have you out here. Aries for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the North Node, and we're going to pull from your ruling planet, Mars. Aries, why I chose the karmic. Mm. Excuse me, guys. You guys know when I start chilling energy, I burp a lot. I apologize. I'm sorry. All right, so this is going to be why your person chose the karmic we're going to go ahead and take a look in for some of you guys you are in separation with your person all right or for some of you guys maybe your person has left the karmic and came to their senses and got with their divine feminine all right um and they're no longer with that person but this is why they were so take it how it resonates for you you know where you are in this all right guys so that's what we're going to do today. Guys, I got some new cards. So, we'll be using my bigger cards. All right. My bigger, um, my jumbo tarot deck. And we'll be using the large cards today as well, Aries. So, let's jump in and see why your person chose the karmic. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get started. Aries, you know the drill. I will be calling all the signs and energies I See, so Aries, it could be your person's um, energy. It doesn't always have to be the sign of that person. However, I will still call both. Also, you could be a, a cusper. If you're a cusper, don't forget to watch all your sign, um, your four sign placements. All right. If you're a cusper, you can also watch a cusper. For example, um, we're going on Aries season. So let's say. Um, you're a Pisces, and your birthday is March 20th. In Aries, March starts March 21st. So you might want to look at the Aries video as well, because there could be some messages for you guys, all right? So keep in mind that um, that can also work for you, all right? Also, um, don't forget to check out your other Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, all right? That will give you bigger enlightenments on your message that came out today or other messages you need in your other four major sign placements. So just to break it down a little bit, let's get your energy going, Aries. Let's jump into this. All my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit for Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Aries, Aries. Why did their person choose the karmic? Guys, karmic is energy, whatever that third-party energy is. It could be a mindset. It could be their ways of thinking, all right? Um, or it can even be a, a person, right? So let's jump in, Aries. Why does their person choose the karmic? Ooh. Aries, stop playing. You better. The first house, here you are. So you came right out in your own reading, Aries. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we got Aquarius and we got the eighth house. Okay. Now the eighth house is Scorpio energy. You could have a Scorpio placement as well, or your person could be a Scorpio. You uh, you could be connecting with another Aries as well or an Aquarius. <laughs> All right, Aries. Bottom of the deck is the sun card. Woo, child. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot of fire here. There's a lot of fire energy. So someone, some of you guys could have a lot of fire in your chart, or you're definitely connecting with like another fire sign here. Okay. We're going to channel some messages, messages right off the card here. Someone here, I'm going to tell you right now, they have lustful eyes. There's someone here that's high on attraction. Okay, so they basically, commun your person could be someone that's big on looks. Okay, so they could have been attracted to this karmic or chose this karmic over looks. Okay, as well. Um, the, the, the eighth house of Scorpio energy, the Scorpio energy is also the 10 of cups. So this person could be in a relationship or, or, or um, could it be like 
For some of you guys, they're, they, they're, t all right, I, I don't even know how to say this. This person doesn't know how to talk to you, by the way, because I'm, I'm picking up on that energy. I know I talk really fast already and get tongue twisted, but this person's really having trouble talking to you because they moved in with someone else. This is someone that they're highly physically attracted to. Here with the first house here, um, in Aquarius. Yeah, um, also this is someone that they feel as though, you know, um, that matches them. Yeah, because there's two Aries here. This person could be connecting with another Aries or this is you. I'm thinking this is you for some of you guys. Ding, ding. Confirmation from the universe. All right, so for some of you guys, this is you. All right, so this person does see, this person knows that you guys are supposed to be partners. Here with the eighth house. But this person stays in relationships based off look. They like. I'm hearing younger. Young looking people. So the, another woman could be younger. Um, you know. More fit. Because Aries ener um, energy is about leadership. So you know more fit. This person is big on looks. Even though this person has a spiritual connection with you Aries. Um. This person is big on looks. Also, for some of you guys, this person does definitely, they, they're living with someone. Yeah, and they're not telling you that. This is someone who also has a very big ego. Okay? This is, could be a masculine energy that, I mean, he might be very controlling. He might like your hair a certain way. He's big on looks. This person is big on looks. The on Your hair, what you wear, the way you look. I mean, your weight. They want you to look a certain way, talk a certain way, your mannerisms. This this this, this person is big. This, this person also could be a, a, a boss, a creator. Excuse me, guys. I'm burping like crazy. Um, This person can also be big in a community. This could definitely be an emperor with the sun energy being out here, too. Okay. So, Aries. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. I want to see more of this. This person likes a lot of sex. This is the type of person that will even talk during sex. This is also someone who masses their intentions, Aries, for the collective, for Aries. I'm going to grab the Venus in the left Ooh. Yeah, this person's on. Yeah. This person just could have moved into a house with someone. Yeah, they did. Um... This person moved in a home with someone, or this person is having the fact that they moved in with someone. And I feel as though, yeah, and it's not going good. Yeah, this person has the, yep, they seek re secret regret it. Also, then I tell you, the ace house is the ten of cups. They could also have a family here that they're hiding from you. Yeah, great fortune in reverse. For some of you guys, they could have thought um, that, you know, great fortune doesn't have to always be money. They could have did this because... I keep hearing family. Yeah. They could be hot in the fact that they have a child with this person as well for some of you guys. Yeah, but they want to cut this off and come towards you. That's the truth here with the Eight of Swords. With this person, they want to come towards you. The main mature woman. Also, for some of you guys in the past, they... Um, cut you off. They cut you off for this person. Now they want to come back and cut this person off for you. Give me more on this great fortune. Yep. I about to say, yeah, honey. There's a big change. Seven of Cups in reverse in the change. This person, whatever fantasy or they thought it was going to be like being or living with this person, maybe they thought they were going to have live better, more money together. It was a total, yep, in this courtship, it was a total opposite. Yep, first tower. And, and, and someone here needs a goddamn job. And didn't I tell you there's a baby here? Yeah, ten of cups. Yep, I told you. Scorpio is also the Ten of Cups courtship. This person regrets everything. I'm seeing five here and change here. Five represents change. There was a big change. Once they moved in, everything changed. Yep. 
<laughs> Six of Cups. This is also this person's karma for backstabbing you. Yeah, we got the Eight of Wands. Yeah. Now they want to come towards you and bridge in this gap here. Yeah. We have Anchor. Yeah, they don't want to lose you. Yep. This person wants to reach out to, to you. Seven of Swords. But they're going to be sneaky about it. Yeah, because they don't want you to know about this. This home they're in with this person. What is this? This person could be Aquarius. Yep, family room. I can't make this shit up. This person could be an Aquarius. Yeah, they don't want to let you know. Yep. Someone here also could be dealing with... Um, someone here need a goddamn job. There could be some issues around some money. What's going on? Ooh. Yep, did I tell you? Someone need a job. Also, they're with someone that's robbing their ass blind, child. I mean, they paying for everything. Um, the mortgage, the water, the house, everything. Yep, this mature man and unexpected income. I can't make this shit up. Yep. They thought that this was going to be better. They thought that, yeah, honey. I was just going to say someone could be dealing with some jail time here as well. Yeah. They could have did something or took some kind of um, illegal steps with the karmic. All right. For money. All right. And it turned out to, it blew up in their face. What is this? Yep, it blew up in her face. Yeah, it did. Also, there's um, STD energy here. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yep. <laughs> Whatever this money deal is, child, uh-uh. It blew up in her face. Someone here secretly could have got married as well, and they're not telling you. Someone here got married, moved in with somebody, and thought this way of life, you know, they were going to start a business together or something that they were going to do together. They thought... That it was going to work out in their favor. Didn't everything backfire. What's this? And now they, this person want to come back towards you. Yep. This person is all. There's all kind of chaos and confusion here. King of Wands is here. Uh, so this is a person that has some kind of leadership. This is also someone that could be well known in the community. This is also someone that can have their own business. He has Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Someone here is going to jail. Someone here also needs to get them a damn lawyer. I keep seeing my cards, so I'm going to use them because they're showing them to me. So let's see. Give me more on this change. Ooh. Yeah. Also, this karmic could have set this person up yeah she did <laughs> uh, marriage and expectation and funeral um yeah everything that they thought someone here secretly got married and they thought everything that this person could have also did some kind of conflict spell like mental spell three three could be specific you could be, could be seeing the synchronicities of three three but they may like they could have like got your person to do something with them like, they made them believe that this was going to work. Oh, yeah, you know, I get this some money. We can, you know, join this business. We can do this together. Your person, you know what I'm saying? They felt for it. They felt for it. They could have, you know, thought this was going to be. This 333 is here. 333 is here. They thought that this was, some somebody definitely got married. They thought that this is going to be better. This was a better financial fit. Um, they were going to live better. They make like a head over a heart decision. And it was nothing what they thought. And there's an STD here as well. Yep, and nothing what they thought. And this is why they want to bring that ass right back to you. And someone here need a goddamn job. I can't make this shit up. Oh, that fell right out. That's, that's just what this is. Yeah, a rich man in court. Did I say somebody needs a lawyer? Um, Someone here also could have legal issues going on. This person is sick. They're sick about this money situation. They don't want you to find out about that as well. Yeah, uh, uh, I told you. Big luck, high honors, and thievery. This is someone, too, that, that Carmen could have said something like, Here, you know, you put it in my name. And we can do this. I'll do this for you. And now they're in court fighting over, like, property issues. What is this? Yeah, his thoughts in reverse. Yeah. Now this person is thinking different. Yep. And there's a child here. False person keeps popping out here. Illness and a lot of money and sad news. Yeah, and it's made male. Yeah. Also, if this person did have some kind of money at some point in time, it's gone. And someone here could be, yeah, dealing with some kind of illegal business and, and dealing with some kind of jail time here. 
What is that? What is this? Mercury thoughts came out for her and him. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. This is someone who, look at this. I'm sorry. Look at them. Now, the, now he's in reverse. Yeah, they, they came up. They plotted this together. Yeah, they thought that, yeah, when it came to this money. And they thought that they were going to live it up with this karmic for money. Yep, and they and they're thieves. So I told you, somebody here is dealing with some kind of thief. These are thieves. Or she was a thief and she got your, your masculine caught up. And there's a baby here. There's probably child support here as well. Is what this is. Yep. That's what this is. Let's pull the big tarot. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, three of cups. Yeah, they could have been talking to you guys at the same time. Oh, my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit. I get some more energy for Aries, Summer, Rising, Venus, North Node, also Mars for the collective. Aries for Aries, 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 Summer, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Mars for the collective. Yeah, now they want to come back towards you and, or, and, and, and give you a cup behind something they did. Yeah, page of cups. For some of you guys, they want to, they want to, you, you see them in this card? Look at this. Like they're waving, saying hi. They want to reach out to you. This person want to come towards you, page of wands. They do. They want to come towards you, but they know they fucked up. Yeah, they know they fucked up. Yeah. What is this? Yeah, five of cups because they're sorrow. Grief and sorrow are in the five of cups. I told you. And look at this. Ace of cups. They want a new start with you. That's just what it is. Yeah, that's why. That's exactly why. Yeah. Because they got their ass caught up with this karmic. Yep, four of swords. The nine of swords and this person is worried about. This is all this person is thinking. All this person is thinking about is you. You're on their mind heavily and they want to get away from this goddamn karmic. This devil. Yep, this queen of swords. I can't make this shit up. Yep. And the seven of wands. All they do is argue and fight. All they do is argue and fight in this goddamn house. Yeah. And 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 this and this also this karmic, which is coming out as the Queen of Swords, is also um someone who um is cause the Queen of Swords is backstabbing. Virgo Libra energy. And they're worried. They're worried about this person. Yeah. They're worried. I mean, this person is extremely worried. I mean, this person is highly stressed. The four of swords and the nine of swords. That's Libra energy there, Gemini energy. This person is highly stressed. Yeah, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Some of you guys are... Fire signs tend to hook up with other fire signs. This person is highly stressed because of all this shit. Also, this person sees you as you having your guard up now. Okay, or you're like using your discernment as you should and they are extremely worried about this. But this person definitely wants to reach out to, to you. All right. And say hi, you know, what's up? How you doing? That kind of thing. You hear my video? Just um, pause. Yeah. But they see that you're guarded for a lot of you guys. You got their ass on block. They want you to take them off block. That's just it. Yeah. This person wants to take a chance. Did you hear my video just go blank? This person definitely wants to take a chance. How do you, uh, I'm going to tell you right now, this person is thinking of you sexually too. Yeah. All right, let's step up the T a little bit, um, Arians. Let's see what is going on. Give me more of this nine of swords. Also, this person, they, they're scared that you're going to find out. Some, for some of you guys, that they got married. Not only that they got married, but they got all this legal shit going on that they got caught up in with this person. I bet a lot of, uh, for a lot of you guys, this karmic could have a lot of, like, 
things in her name, whatever this illegal fraud business is for them in her name as well. Oh, yep, three of swords. I can't make this up. Okay, and um, yeah, this person is heartbroken about you, by the way, too. Yep, because this person really does love you. Yeah, in the chariot, and they want to come towards you, but at the same time, they got all this shit going on. Give me more of the three of swords, please. Ooh. Yep, the devil card, because they they got they married the devil. They married the goddamn devil. Yep, three of cups. Yeah, and they, this whole time you were the empress. And for some of you guys, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> They tried to make this person their empress. And I told you, baby energy is here. Because there's a baby on that empress card. The empress can be a mom. Yep. I can't make this shit up. And we got the knight of cups. Now this person wants to, they want to tell you how they feel. Yep. Page of cups. They want to give you an apology. And tell you how they really feel about you. Yeah, two of cups. You're the true two of cups. Can I get something else on the devil card? Yep, the moon card. Yep, they, the the moon also represents mother. I told you, someone here married the damn devil. Yeah, and she got their ass in all kind of trouble. Yeah, yeah, all kind. Of, yep, all kind of trouble, legal shit. Yep, and here go the higher front. Yeah, someone here got high legal issues. Whatever. This is like money money schemes. Someone here could be a big gambler as well. Give me more on this moon card. Damn. Yeah, now this person is watching you. Didn't I tell you someone here needs to get a lawyer? This person is also being watched or audited. They could be being audited by the government as well for some of you guys. Yeah, now this person is watching you because they regret the decisions that they made here. Yeah, three of wands. Yep, and that's why they're, they're watching you from a distance. Yeah, the sun card. And a lot of, yep, they are. The death in the world card. For some of you guys, you walked away from this person. Give me more of this um, Queen of Swords. Give me Queen of Swords. Tell me more of this Queen of Swords there. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Yeah, five of wands. This is, I told you. All kind of chaos and confusion. Didn't I say the five of wands? Leo energy, the sun card. Yeah, and we have the six of cups. Yeah. So for some of you guys, this is someone from, from your past. And also, this is karma from this person. Yep, tire moment. Yep, I can't make this shit up. Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. For some of you guys, this person is going to sit back and watch you have a new start. You were the Queen of Pentacles the whole time. They played themselves. Yeah. I was just going to ask, what is the Five of Wands? And we got the Five of Cups in reverse. Yep. They feel like it's over. I was going to say that earlier. Yeah, and the Five of Swords. Five, five to be specific. Um, Five is about change. Yeah, they feel like, yep, they feel like this is over. Yeah, Nine of Wands and the Two of Cups. This person wants to heal this with you, but they, they feel like it's over. Like you're possibly never going to forgive them if they tell you everything if they've been honest they chose someone over you not only that they got married there's a baby i got court cases behind this woman we you know I, we were going to we were planning a life together that's what they got to tell you and they feel like you know for some of you guys you're not we have um the moon and the sun here yeah they also been talking to their mother or father about you in this karmic. Give me, thank you, spirit. Yeah, yep. And it's coming all out in reverse. And my and my deck is not in reverse. We got the ten of swords in reverse. They've been getting guidance from um, the universe as well, and some of you guys from their mother and dad about this situation. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because see, you're the queen of pentacles, and at the end of the day, they want justice with you, okay? Seven of cups. This, this is their fantasy here, but they're stuck in this. Let me see something. Give me, give me the five of cups in reverse, please. Yeah, they're burnt and bad this. 
They're, they're bur yeah, I just about, I just was about to say this. Oh my gosh, I'm telling y'all, I don't be needing these damn cards. They're, this person's in a spiritual court, okay, because they knew you, yep, you guys were super, yeah, uh-huh. They were supposed to invest in this with you, and they didn't. They didn't, they didn't listen to their assignment. No, they didn't. They forfeited their destiny with you. What is this, um, what is this? Yeah. Yeah, for a karmic that's going to head a ass in jail. <laughs> that's just it. That's also part of this person's karma. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, that's it. Someone else here could be losing a house. What is this? This person could need somewhere to live after this shit. Yep, privileged lady thoughts and high honor. Now this person is thinking, thinking of you. This privileged lady that they went to, they put in a house, got married to, all this shit. They regret it. This person can't get you off their mind. They look at you as someone of, of, of high honor here. Is what's also. This person thinks about you a lot at night. There's a lot of telepathic communication. Yeah. This is his thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, they want to work on this. Someone here wants to work on this. Yeah, yep. Tower moment. That's the second tower we saw. This person is blocked from your life, spiritual-wise. God is also blocked them from your life. You know, the tower is the house of God, so is the sun. By the way, is God. The moon is the mother, okay, of the zodiac. Um, Yeah, this person is blocked from you because they violated your spiritual contract. They knew that this was a um, spiritual connection. And they went, someone here made a head over a heart decision. Give me more on this page of ones. Now, what do they want? Now, what is the page of ones? Yeah. Ten of ones. They, they want to come forward, but they're blocked from you. Yep, four of pentacles. That's, they're holding back until, yep, until they get their shit together. This person is not, is not going to be allowed yeah, to talk to you. They want to come in quickly, though. But they know they got to heal this first. Yeah, yeah. And not only that, they've been talking to... um, so They've been talking to God. What is this? Yep, about balancing. About how to get things right. Yep, this king of ones, this leader again. Yeah, yeah, because you're the high priestess. Yeah, your spiritual partners. Yep, the hermit and the high priestess. Sometimes for me, it's that um, higher fun and the high priestess, but the hermit and the high priestess is the same as well. Yeah. Yeah. When I tell you the will of fortune, they knew, ding, ding, confirmation from the universe. Now they want to come back and honor this contract. They know that you guys are spiritual partners here. For a lot of you guys, I'm not going to lie. You, this is your twin. Yeah. Give me something on them. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. But they can't offer you much. No, they can't. No, nope. because they 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 they've been too sneaky, and a lot of you guys are going to have to be sneaky. You know, the page of pentacles is good news, but they're going to have they're going to be sneaky about this, about communicating with you because of what they did. They don't want you to know everything. Yeah, seven of ones. They're going to be very defensive there. And here he is, the knight of pentacles. Yep. Yeah. They're going to slowly let you know. They're going to slowly let you know. It's going to, they're going to start off at the page of pentacles. And then they're, then, they're, then they're going to turn to the knight of pentacles. But but this person does want to offer you something. And it's going to grow. Okay, pages are also kids. But it's, you know, pages are young. It's something substantial, something small. It might start off small talk and end up big going somewhere because this person really, they want, they now they want their spiritual person. This is someone who realizes that now they want, they do want this contract. Yeah. Yeah. And not only that, they want to give you an apology. Yeah, for, I'm going to tell you something too. For some of you guys, that baby energy is here. And this person could want to get you pregnant on purpose. Yeah, this emperor. Yeah. Yeah. Because he does want a family with you. So this person might want to come back and start a family with you as well. But like I said, they're, yeah. And we got a small child here. 
on the bottom of this deck too. This person could want to start a small family with you, want to come back and make things right. But at the end of the day, they got to come clean. God is not going to let them. They're blocked from your life. Spiritually blocked. Yeah. This person probably can't even telepathically communicate with you as much as they used to. What we got? Tarot reader. Someone here. Oh, yes. Yes, with the hermit in the page, you could be a reader. This is another thing. Yep, a paramedic. Someone here. Okay, paramedics. You could be a paramedic for some of you guys. You could be a reader. Or this person could also... You could be a reader. Or this person could also be constant on a tarot reader here with the hermit and the high priestess. They're getting readings done on you. And therapy. Yeah, they're getting readings done on you. Okay. Trying to figure you out. Yeah. Because, see, right now, this is this person's problem. And this is why they're learning this lesson. Because they, they have an ego. They have pride. They go by image. They go. They do head over heart issues. This is why they chose a karmic. And this is why they ask need therapy. And they been also getting tarot readings for their own counsel and therapy about you. All right, spirit. Ooh, child. Yeah, this person blocked and ghosted you. And I told you, someone here could be dealing with child support here. Because that child energy is here. They had, a, for some of you guys, they definitely had a baby, got married. Okay, blood magic. So someone here could be doing some kind of magic spells. The devil card came out with the hermit energy, yeah. So, yeah. And I feel like the spell's now being broken. They might be waking. Yes. Yes, with the sun energy. And that came out twice in the moon here. All this shit is getting a light event. Yeah, glasses and contacts. This person, someone here can wear glasses and contacts. This person's getting enlightenment. The spell's been broken. Page of swords. That's why this person's watching you. Because they're planning and therapy's back out. Yeah. Yeah, because they were with a Jezebel spirit. Yep, and child abuse is here again. Also, someone here could be getting blamed for child abuse child abuse um here with this court energy they don't might not want you to know about that as well and it could be something that this karmic is doing all right just because you know your person walked away but this is someone who goes to you in the past this could have happened in the fall and this is someone who likes to send people to you um in your dm and shit like that just to see if you're going to talk to them Yeah, I told you. This person is in spiritual court. Deity, ancestors, the high realm. This person is blocked from coming in your life. Yeah, someone here is definitely African American. And I told you, this person knows who you are. They, You have a spiritual contract here. They know this. The high priestess and the hermit, honey, and the will of fortune. The lover's court. They know this. They know this. I just heard they knew the whole time. But they thought this was better. Someone here tried to play God. <laughs> Someone here tried to play God and got played. I tried to work it out because I have kids. Someone here could have had kids or got this person pregnant. So they thought, you know, oh, I'm just going to try to stay in this and work it out. And it, and, uh, and it never does. And look, it was in reverse. I'm cursed. And that was in reverse. I told you this person was blocked from your life. Someone here because, yep, look. They have an open relationship, too. That's another reason why they stay for some of you guys. Because Aries is also sexual energy. So is the sun. And it came out twice. So these are people, they, they have high sexual drives. The moon card is here twice, too. I need to see something. Why is the moon card? Thank you, spirit. Yep. I t yep. Boom. Yeah. They have a lot of sexual relationships. I feel like this person's cutting that off now. Yeah. Yep. And that's how this baby came. Message of concern. Her right, yeah. Courthouse pathway and child is here. Yeah. Yep. For community pussy. I can't make this shit up. Yep, boom. But you got the key to this person's heart. But they was a sucker for some community ass. That's what this is. Yeah. Yeah. This is seven of one. Yeah. Now they want to come towards you. They want to talk to you. But they got to do this sneaky. They got to, for an order to be unblocked, they got to come to you and tell you the truth. Everything that they did, now the swords in reverse. That's why they're worried to death at night. Yep. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Yep. This, the sun in the, in the magnifying glass in reverse. 
Until they do this, they're blocked. And they know this. They got to be real. That's part of what they got to do to come back towards you because you're spiritual partners. That's just what it is. Yeah. So for some of you guys, they might want to give you something nice. Do something nice for you. It's because they do want your forgiveness. I'm mighty beautiful. You know, you know, spirits. They might want to take you out on a date. They know you guys are life partners. They have a, um, they want a family with you, even though they had it with this person. And they just want to go, want you to go with the flow of things. This person wants to build a family with you. They could, it might be a new fam family member added here because there's kids here. All right, what else does this person want to say? Ooh, yeah, fertility. I told you this person wants to get you pregnant. Okay. They do. I told you, because this is another. This is a, another tactic of this person, and this is why they're gonna have to get their shit together, because they don't want you walking away, settling. So this is a way to get you to settle into the shit. Yeah, guidance, so you don't walk away. What else? Yeah, this person definitely wants to do something. This person's gonna try to do something nice for you. Okay, that's just the truth of the matter. Yeah, they know there's a lot of conflict. Yeah, and I told you, this person sends people to you, and that's because they're jealous-hearted. This person is very egotistic. Yep, and I told you, spying. This person is watching the shit out of you. Yeah, yep, and they don't want you to walk away. Yeah, they have many regrets. Okay, yeah. And I told you, someone got married, but they want to come back towards you. Someone here is definitely married. That's just a fact of the matter. That's this is why they chose the carpet for like a, a a lifestyle. Okay, they thought they were going to have some kind of um, high end lifestyle for financial reasons. It was never for love anyway. This is someone who makes head over um, heart decisions, and now they're paying for it spiritually because they they did they cross their spiritual partner for some of you guys. This is definitely your twin. Yep, count your blessings. Now this person wants to come back because they see that you are a blessing in their life. They um, clean up time. This person, I told you, someone here is getting readings on you. Look at this moon ball. This person is getting readings on you because they're trying to figure this out, you out, on how to come back towards you. Also, they, like I said, they're going to clean herself up. This person just wants... I feel like they just want you now. Yeah, personal growth and power. Yeah, they want to heal. Yeah, and we got Kali Ma. <laughs> yeah, Kali Ma, check that ass real quick. From death comes rebirth. This person wants rebirth with you here. Yeah, right? This person is trying to grow. They needed personal growth. This was um, something that the twins here could have had to teach each other. Maybe there was something specific they were supposed to learn from you, and you learn from them, but now they, they fall in love with you, which is also part of the twin flame journey. It's hard being a twin because you do. You teach each other lessons. And some lessons, it's hard to come back from. People always want to, oh, twin, I'm a twin. Yeah, but like real twins, not to say that because everybody is not a twin. But when you go through the shit and you start really understanding like like what it takes and what you go through with your twin, you, you see like this, this shit is real. Like it goes down on a twin flame journey, honey. All right, and I know some of you guys have experienced in some, some things, some heartbreaks. So this is why your person chose the karmic. But they do know who you are, and they do have the spiritual contract with you. And this person is coming back because they want to renew it. They want to keep it, but God is making them get their self right first. Period. And they're going to have to come back and tell you the truth here. All right? Be authentic. And this person struggles with that. I don't think they're even used to that. This is someone that has a big ego. Okay, Aries, that's what I have for you guys. I hope that this helped out in more ways than one. If I resonated with you guys in any way, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Aries, make sure you're hitting all so you get all the content. That is released, guys. All right. Um, 
Also, that's a way to energetically donate so I can pull more beautiful messages for you beautiful people. Arians, stay dope. I love you. Next time. Ashe.